So it's been a year since you've last seen me, and since then I finished my second reconstructive surgery and all of my infusions, and I am happy to report that I am now cancer free. So following the last surgery, the recovery time was so much shorter and it was so much easier for me, so that was a huge relief. And then shortly after that, I met with my oncologist and I was really kind of anxious about finding out, you know, does this mean I'm in remission? What is it? What are we calling this? And it was at that time that he actually said, you know, we're not using remission anymore. You're actually considered cancer free. And that those words, that feeling that you get when someone says that to you, it's like nothing you've ever heard before. Um, you still have that little bit of unease, like, oh my gosh, is this real? But it was um, probably the best moment in my life to date. Um, the biggest thing that I've learned through this entire thing is that the, there are so many people who want to take care of you, who care about you. Like the, the good in humanity really comes out and presents itself to you when you go through something like this. People that I hadn't talked to in years, high school friends, um, friends of friends reached out to me and just the amount of support from all angles was really humbling. And it really, I learned that you need to allow yourself to let people care for you. I'm a very independent person, and so that was a little difficult at first, but you need that help and you need that care. And to just allow it to happen really is gonna make the experience much better. And um, people wanna be there for you. And it's really impressive and a uh, wonderful thing. In the last video, you heard that Meredith and I, I was gonna throw a dart at a map and we were gonna travel to wherever that place on the map took us uh, in the world. That has actually been placed on hold um, in April. Christian and I did get engaged, and so we're very excited about that engagement. We are wedding planning now, and we are doing a destination wedding, and so um, can't wait for that. But after that is all finished, hopefully we'll get back to our dart and map plan, and we'll take us somewhere really wonderful in the world. Thank you so much for following my story. This month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Laser Away will be contributing a portion of their proceeds to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. If you'd like to join us in donating, please visit bcrf.org. And thanks again.